Now let's start making a network diagram. Here in this particular table, activity A is the immediate predecessor for activity C, D and E. So we will start making the network with activity A. Event 1 to 2 signifies the time frame of activity A. Now from event number 2, let's branch out or create a burst event involving activity C, D and E. Now, if we look in the table, here activity E is the predecessor of activity F. So let's define activity F just after activity E. By looking again in the table, we find out that activity D and F are the predecessor of activity G and we have already defined activity D and F in the network diagram. So activity D whose start event was at event 2 and activity F whose start event which was at event 4 will have a common end event at event number 5 from which activity G can now proceed. Following the same procedure for rest of the table, we can now have all the corresponding activities and events in the network. So this is how our final network will come out. Now the numbering in case of network diagram is done as per Fulkerson's rule of numbering, which says the numbering must be in incremental order. That means for a particular activity, start event numbering must be lesser than end event numbering.